guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. Winter has just kicked off in my part of the world and so what better time for me to talk you through my winter essentials and I have 10 here to walk you through. Now when the temperature drops, it's always really tempting to just layer up like a sushi roll in the many, many layers and roll everywhere to get around. But I like to look somewhat presentable while staying warm at the same time. And not to toot my own horn, but I think I've struck a pretty good balance between the two. Aside from the obvious essentials, like a hot water bottle, chicken soup, the flu shot, in this video, you'll be glad to know that I'll be sticking to just clothing bits. Now it's getting pretty cold here in Sydney, but I appreciate it doesn't get as cold here as other parts of Australia or other parts of the world for that matter. I was only in Melbourne last week and it was so freezing and wet and windy. And every time I go down there, you guys are like, oh, look, the terrible weather just hit. It's been really lovely otherwise. I just, I just don't believe you. And not that I'm complaining because I also recognize that a lot of you in Europe or in North America experience a pretty chilly winter. Okay, so let's get this winter party started. Okay, winter essential numero uno is a pair of long boots and I have two styles here to share with you, one dressy and one casual. So let's kick things off with the dressier style. I have a pair of block heel boots here from Australian footwear label Jane Debster and I've got this style in two colours. I've got them in black, stay, and I also have them in chocolate brown. These featured in my Anatomy of a Style Outfits video and I got the chocolate boots a couple of years ago and the black boots I only added to my wardrobe earlier this year. I think they're a really manageable heel height as well. They are about seven to eight centimeters and they're in a block heel and so they're comfy to wear to work but you can also dress them down to wear on the weekends with jeans and things like that. Now I have quite chunky calves and short legs and so finding a pair of long boots isn't an easy feat for me. When they're too around here then they tend to bunch up around the ankles and when they're made for longer legs then they just tend to bunch up everywhere and so there are a lot of unflattering styles out there but these ones just seem to work for me they're not cut as high and so they don't bunch up around the top and they're not too tight around the calves so they don't bunch up around the ankles and they look quite slim the way they were intended to look hence me getting them in an additional color because they're so flattering on me and the next pair that I have to share with you is a more casual style and these are a pair of flat long boots these are by Sam Sandler, also an Australian label. There are two things that I really like about this style. First is the fact that it's got the adjustable width here and so I can adjust it accordingly for my chunky calves but I can also expand them out to wear with jeans. I can cinch them back in again when I'm wanting to wear them with dresses but I also really love the rubber sole and it's quite a hefty rubber sole which means that they're really comfortable to walk in. They're still quite lightweight. I'm not slipping in them when it's raining and I'm also not making that really loud clomping sound when I'm walking on the footpath. So these are my three long boots of choice. My next winter essential is a dressy work appropriate coat. And I have two here to share with you that I've really been loving. The first is the Totem Annecy coat, which is a drapey wrap style coat. That is one of their signature styles. I have this coat in one of their older season colors in the chocolate brown. I'm not sure whether it's available anymore, but they release it in new colors all the time. Now I really love this style because I think it strikes the perfect balance between dressy and relaxed. You can really dress this coat up and belt it, but it also looks really great styled casually open with its exaggerated lapels and because it's a little bit more oversized it makes a great piece for layering I can layer chunky knits under this too and so this is a real winner for me another dressy coat style that I have to share with you is this style here and it's the tailored coat by the curated this is one of their seasonal colors but they still have this style I have the tailored coat in two different colors and I feature them both in my dedicated curated coats video which I will link in the cards if you wanted to have a watch but this is one that I've reached for a fair bit because it just works to elevate my outfits. I think that a classic A-line coat is something that you can't go wrong with and in a neutral tone it just makes it easy to pair with the rest of your wardrobe. My next winter essential is a casual and practical coat and the one that has been playing that role in my wardrobe is this style here from Everlane which is just your stock standard black hooded puffer jacket in a longer cut. I really recommend one of these for your wardrobe and they are widely available. This jacket has kept me really 
really warm and toasty on early morning winter walks as well as Saturday sport. I think when you're looking for a casual practical jacket of your own you should prioritize one that is a longer length just to keep you warm. One that is quite lightweight because I found that the lower quality jackets that are a puffer style can be really quite heavy so you should probably try it on and make sure that it's not going to be too heavy for you. One that has a hood because I've made really good use of my hood. One that has a really nice lining on the inside and also pockets. I have made such good use of the pockets in this jacket that I have. It's got really deep pockets. So I would just chuck my card holder, my keys and my phone in my pockets and I'm good to go and I don't even need a bag. I will link this style down below. My next winter essential is a chunky knit. My chunky knit of choice is one that is a turtleneck style. I really love cozying up with a high roll neck. And the one that I've been reaching for quite a bit lately is this turtleneck poncho style one from The Fold, which is a London based brand. This one is made from a navy merino wool. It's really soft and it's really luxurious. As you know, navy is one of my favorite colors to wear. And so this is one that just works with my wardrobe. I wore this to a work dinner last week during the freezing weather that I experienced in Melbourne. And I really love how with knits you can also dress them up as well. And so I think a chunky knit is an essential for your winter wardrobe. Now my next winter wardrobe essential are knits that you can layer. And these come in many different shapes and forms. I've got some favorites here to share with you. First is this merino style knit from Arquette, which featured in my Arquette haul. I have this style in both the long sleeve and in the short sleeve. The short sleeve one I managed to pick up on sale. I'm not sure whether it's available anymore, but I know that the long sleeve version is available. And these make such good layering pieces. They're so thin, but they're so warm. And I can layer this under a coat and I'm set for the day. Particularly with mild winter days, they also work well under blazers for work and they keep me warm all day. I've got a fair few thin merino wool knits in my wardrobe for that purpose. I've got a black one and a navy one in my wardrobe. But at the moment, my favorite is this style here from my cat. Then there's the Good old classic cashmere knit and this is just the classic crew neck style here that I have from Everlane in a really light neutral shade that is just so easy to pair. These knits can be styled both as tops and as jumpers and so when I wear it as a top I will tuck it into trousers or skirts for example and when I wear it as a jumper I will layer it over a shirt. Another thing that I've been doing lately particularly with my cashmere knits is I will wear them as scarves. So I'll simply just drape them over my shoulder like a regimented soldier and I'll tie them up in a knot like this. Not only does it keep me warm but it also allows me to channel my inner coastal grandma. And I think that these are such versatile pieces for your winter wardrobe. They're great for your work wardrobe as well as your off-duty wardrobe. I don't think that you can go wrong with a cashmere knit. My next winter wardrobe essential is a scarf because Duh, it's really cold. But not just any scarf. The scarves that I have are a little bit extra. They are both from Acme Studios and they're both the Canada style scarf. These scarves are really large and lovely. You can wear them the traditional way around your neck like so. But because they're so large and lovely, you can also drape them around your body, which is something that I do when I'm in the office and the aircon is absolutely freezing. The first Acne Studio scarf that I bought uh, was the grey one, which I've had now for a few years. And because I loved it so much and used it so often, I ended up getting another neutral tone to add to my wardrobe in this camel tone here. And I can also see myself adding a navy one and potentially a black one to my collection as well. But I definitely think that a luxury scarf is one that you'll really enjoy wearing. My next winter wardrobe essential is denim and I've got two of my favourite pairs to share with you. The first is this high-waisted skinny pair from Nobody Denim, an Australian label. I featured this a fair few times in my other videos. I really love the classic blue wash of these ones. And another pair that I've really been loving wearing is this washed black pair from Dr. Denim, which is more of a straight leg style and it's high-waisted. Both of these pairs that I have don't have any rips or any distressing, which means that I can wear them to the office as well with no problems. But I think that a high hearty, hard-working pair of jeans will keep you nice and toasty during the colder season. My next essential is your classic crew neck long sleeve t-shirt. These make great layering pieces, particularly under knits. The styles that I really love wearing are the classic long sleeve crew neck from Arquette, which is made from organic cotton and feels quite silky when worn, and also the Marks and Spencer long sleeve t-shirts. They're excellent quality, they're made from a weightier cotton, and they're really soft, and my winter wardrobes are just better with them in them. Next up, I've got weather 
weather appropriate gear because if the past few months have taught me anything in light of all the rain we've been getting here in Sydney it's that when your clothes are all wet you're really really miserable and so I've now equipped myself with gum boots which I shared in my autumn essentials video which still apply but I've also upped my game by picking myself up a raincoat and this one here is from a Danish label called Rains and this is just their classic navy rain jacket it's a unisex style and while the smaller size is an extra small I got myself the size small just so that it would be a little bit more oversized so that I could layer over chunky things and I really like the size I think that I made the right call there this is made from PVC and so it's proper waterproof material and the hood is great too because it's cut a little bit larger so that your face stays dry I also got my husband one and he cycled to work on a rainy day while wearing the jacket and he happily reported that he was nice and dry by the time he got to the office I think colder weather naturally means more wind and more rain and so while this rain jacket is a really practical option it's also quite stylish as well in that same vein of weather appropriate gear it's all also worthwhile mentioning just your classic Macintosh coat and this is one that I have here from Everlane this is a great style for when it's lightly raining or it's a little bit windy and you don't want to go about ruining your beautiful wool coats that I featured earlier in this video this is a more practical option but it also can be dressed up this is made of quite a durable drill like fabric and it's long line too and so it's a really practical choice particularly during the cold and windy weather and lastly I wanted to talk those small winter accessories like hats and socks that really keep you nice and toasty. I have a classic Akubra hat that I picked up from the Strand Hatters a few years ago and I wear that quite a bit during the colder weather and I've got a beanie that I've just ordered that is currently on the way but something else that you can't discount is a pair of really good socks and I really feel like this is a luxury item because nobody can really see what type of socks you're wearing and so for me I like wearing fun pairs of socks. One of my simple pleasures is getting a pair of happy socks and the happy pair that I'm wearing today are from Gorman. They make great presents for day care teachers and so I'm going to proceed to really classily hold up my foot so you can see my sock. Ta-da! It's a really nice way to treat yourself with something fun and quirky and that also keeps you warm. And that's a wrap guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found my roundup of my winter wardrobe essentials to be helpful, particularly if you are planning to plug in some gaps with your winter wardrobes. This is also my second seasonal video and so I have previously uploaded my top 10 autumn essentials, though I think it ended up being 12 or 13 items there, so a little bit misleading. And so I will link that down below if you wanted to have a watch. If you like this video, then let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!